I think success is defined firstly by feeling, how happy you're feeling, right, with what you're doing. I, I did I get the passport. Got one more country today. <laughs> Perfect. My Africa is kind, cultured, electric. My name's Saloni. I'm the founder of Freeform Cycling and Strength Studio. Moving to the beat of the music in this neon lit room, these cyclers are getting a change of pace from the typical gym experience. Are you ready? Legs pumping to the rhythm, indoor cycling is just one of many workouts this studio offers. And the visionary behind it is Saloni Cantaria. Hi guys, welcome to Reform Cycling and Strength Studio. So I chose the name Reform because Reform means change. And one thing I wanted to make sure that comes out through our logo is that we have the predominant colors of the Kenyan flag. So red, black and green to make sure that everybody could identify that this is a Kenyan born brand. So. Come on guys, let me take you in. What's up? Checking on employees and greeting clients are just a few of her daily tasks at Reform Cycling and Strength Studio in Nairobi. Awesome. But as a young girl, Saloni had a different routine. My dad was a very avid sports person. And so from the early age of about five, um, he introduced me to tennis. So after school, I would uh, come home with the bus and straight away my dad finished work and then he would take me to Nairobi Chimkana to practice. From about the age of roughly uh, 10, uh, I started entering tournaments. About 1991, I got asked to represent Kenya and that was really the first time that I got any international exposure for co competing outside of Kenya. Hi guys, so I thought I'd just show you a little bit of the trophies that I accumulated over my younger days. The first one that I actually won was the under 12 winners girls singles uh, championships uh, for the Kenya Junior Open in 1992. In addition to playing tennis, Saloni had her heart set on attending college, which she did in the US. After I finished my undergraduate degree at Cornell, I proceeded on to law school. I really enjoyed the challenge of law. I enjoyed the challenge of practicing. I practiced litigation, but it was very, very, very long hours. And I just felt like, you know, for a period of time, I hadn't even picked up a tennis racket in like four or five months, which is completely unusual for me. An idea had been wrangling at the back of my head since about 2011. Ah. Every time I came back home, uh, even as for the holidays or to visit my family, I would want to work out because I enjoy uh, fitness and I enjoy exercising. And I couldn't find high quality group exercise classes in Nairobi. Three, two, one, come back. Having lived in Dubai and Sydney and um, the US for some time, I'd noticed that boutique studios were coming up and they're very, very specialist in the types of classes that they're offering. So I sat down and thought, what is it for this specific market that's gonna work? And what I realized is if we come up with a studio concept, but we have a large variety of classes that are offered, then I think potentially if a client wants to do a class every single day and a different class every single day, then they can do that. So in 2015, I took off my corporate legal hat um, and decided, right, I'm just gonna focus on coming up with a Kenyan brand. Hey, what's up? I'm wiped out. <laughs> How did you do I today? did pretty well. Yeah. So initially, uh, people were like, hey, I'm not sure what is this, right? There was not there were hardly any boutique studios on the ground. So I think it took a little bit of time for them to identify, but the immediate reception from a lot of our Kenyan clients or even East African clients was, I didn't even feel like I'm in Nairobi. And that made me really happy because one of the goals that I've been trying to accomplish for the studio from day one is to make sure that I get it up to the standards of uh, London, New York, uh, Singapore, Australia. Last year, the studio introduced virtual classes. Thanks to the virtual classes now, and as opposed to having about 30, 35 classes a week, we've now got about 65 classes a week. And that means if some clients cannot come during um, early in the morning or late in the evening, and they, can, they come at sort of off-peak hours for us, it could even be like 11 in the morning, there is a class for them to be able to do. 
Once a year, Saloni makes sure not only that the studio enriches its clients' lives, but also impacts society. I think as a fitness community, we can come together and we can do something very special to help another community. I want to thank you for showing up tonight. I want to thank you for helping support this initiative. I make sure that Reform uh, raises money for charity. So in December 2016 and 17, uh, we raised money for an organization called Jaipur Foot Trust and um, it builds legs for amputees. All of the money that you've paid tonight uh, will be matched by reform. Tonight, we're raising money for schools in northern Kenya. Saloni says her business has grown since she opened reform three years ago, but she says her greatest satisfaction comes from seeing her clients' transformation. One of the things I love seeing at reform is our clients reforming their mind and body. I love to see that they're giving me feedback, saying, Saloni, you know, whatever we thought was not possible of even getting through a 45 minute ride, now we're cruising through it. For me, it's if clients are saying to me, for the most part, you're doing an amazing job, that for me means reform is successful. I know that I'm making some positive contribution through reform to somebody's life via exercise, and uh, that makes me feel very good. And you guys have done an awesome job. Thank you guys for supporting us tonight.